the tax system is a neutral way if you decide to subsidize innovation. It allows the firms to pick the projects that they think will be useful. If you want to promote R&D investment, then you can introduce special tax provisions that allow, for example, a double deduction to encourage people to invest in research and development. Some policies are probably not the most effective in encouraging research and development, such as patent boxes that reduce the income tax for firms that uh, receive their income from patents. What is more effective is reducing the cost, the price of doing research and development through either these tax credits or through specific subsidies. If you want uh, more financial resources to go to the startup economy, well, then you need to be sensible in how you tax capital. If you tax capital in a very intrusive way, in a way that is not stimula stimulating ambition, well, you shouldn't be surprised that capital is not going to young people who want to start up a, a business. What we are trying to do is to look into the tax system and eliminate all factors which are detrimental for startups and for the digital economy. So we are very much interested by the Commission's proposal for this deduction for growth and investment within the framework of CCTV.